In this example, we're going to complete task 20, which says backport task 16 into RTC 3011. We've set up a repository workspace flowing with RTC 3011. Clicking on task 16 will show that there are five chain sets that we need to backport. Let's verify that the chain sets have not been backported to RTC 3011. We can open up the locate chain set editor and add the RTC 3011 stream. The result column shows 0 out of 5 chain sets included, which means they have not been backported. To backport chain sets, you must first accept them into a repository workspace before delivering them to the stream. This dialog indicates that there is a gap, or that we do not have all the chain sets which led up to the chain sets trying to be accepted. In order to continue, we will need to merge the chain sets with a gap. The merging of these chain sets can be completed within the gap editor. In the gap editor, we can see that even though we have chose to accept five chain sets, only one chain set with a gap can be merged at a time. This is the chain set that we are currently merging. If we switch over to the penning tab, we can see the other four remaining chain sets in a queue waiting to be accepted. These chain sets can only be accepted once the current port that is being merged is completed. We can see that all 32 changes are automatically resolved. So let's click complete and confirm that I want to complete the resulting change set. This dialog is asking if you would like to re-accept the change sets in the pending list and indicates that merges will be required if additional gaps are encountered during the accept. While we wait for the accept operation to complete, we can remind ourselves that there were four change sets in the pending tab. In this example, the first change set will accept cleanly and the second one will result in a gap. If we switch over to the pending tab, we can confirm that there are two chain sets remaining. Now let's continue the backporting process. Luckily again in this case, 18 out of 18 changes are automatically resolved. So let's complete the current merge. Once again, they will ask if you want to attempt and accept of the chain sets in the pending list. In this example, the next chain set will also have a gap. We can click on the pending tab and confirm that there is one more change set that will later have to be accepted. The comment of the change set that we were trying to accept is merges. Therefore, we can imagine a scenario where this change set actually contains merges from a different feature not directly related to task 16. We could open up the content, for example, just to verify that the content is not needed to be backported. So in this case, let's click discard instead of complete. This prompt will confirm that I want to discard the change set. We can click yes to accept the last change set. This last change set has no gap and will accept cleanly. The gap editor will close as there is no merging required. We can now deliver the change sets that we have backported. We can see the two change sets that we have merged and we can see the two change sets that accepted cleanly. We can now deliver them to the stream. We can now select the original chain sets from task 16, and we can use locate chain sets to verify that they are in RTC 3011. As expected, four to five chain sets are included, two directly and two indirectly. You can hover over the icon to get additional information. This can show the included indirectly chain sets, which represent the semantically equivalent chain sets we created during the backporting exercise. As a side comment, the four change sets that were backported ideally should have been associated to work item 20, and each change set should be given a unique comment. However, these steps were purposely skipped during this demo.